works all right with the flywheel motor. Although I've got to tell you, that was about the tenth attempt. Every time I pushed it too hard, the motor flicked up inside. I can fix that by gluing it, but I'm not going to. We're going to make it radio control. Hi guys. Bought this little friction powered or flywheel powered truck in the charity shop. The flywheel motor keeps popping out of its clip there, but I'm not going to bother to mend it. I could just glue it, but instead of that, I'm going to convert it to radio control. The easy way. I'm going to take the bits out of this one, which is the gearbox, motor, back axle, out of another radio controlled car and the steering, which at the moment are just glued into this Pringles tube. So I'll unglue them and they should fit in here pretty well. Mm, might have a bit of a problem, it might touch the bodywork. Although if I sit it up quite a bit, well, we'll see. That should look like fun if nothing else. To position the steering and the gearbox low enough down to clear the wheel arches, I'm going to pack it out with pieces of styrofoam or polystyrene, one of my favourites, pizza trays. I'll just cut out pieces to hold it well, about half an inch below the bottom of the car. And then hot glue it all in place. Well, there we are. I've just taped the battery in place and taped the aerial on. That's a normal toy grade receiver. So we better go and try it. Forwards. Backwards.
I think we're a little bit tail heavy because the steering doesn't have much effect at the moment well not as much as it should have I'll go and put some weight at the front well I've shifted the battery to the front but it's still struggling for grip and of course now the back wheels are too light So what have we got? We've got a very lightweight truck with the steering, gearbox and motors from a slightly bigger truck, not much bigger actually, toy grade receiver and we're running it on a 2S LiPo and it's got no grip and it's going wild. I suppose it was fun. <laughs> 